when I start, I I was 16 years old when I start learning. Why did you decide to start working with the knife? I I start uh, training because uh, my I always get uh, when I was young. I always get trouble, you know. I I, I have so many uh, street fights and. Well, I come back home with so many bruises. That's why my father was uh, fed out, and he brought brought me to a, a master so that I can learn martial art. I can learn arnis. Uh, can you tell us about your system that you are teaching? Okay, my old system is a Sikotiros Kastilagan and uh, modern arnis and. Lightning, those are my old system. You know, the advantages of my technique, my teaching, is that uh, we can, we can uh, counter or we can face uh, close quarter combat or, uh, or uh, distant fighting and also go with the force movement and uh, that's it. Go with the force movement, and uh, we can handle the close quarter, close quarter combat. The the most important uh, system is uh, the lightning. Uh, we uh, LSI. We call it lightning scientific harness international. Lightning. Yeah, the the lightning because uh, uh, lightning system is uh, uh, good in uh, weaponry. And after the weaponry, there is a, a, a empty hand fighting, empty hand fighting, and uh, dagger, dagger fighting, bolo fighting, and uh, the last is uh, spiritual. We have we call uh, uh, kali, kali means karunungan lihim, which means. We have the knowledge of, of uh, a secret knowledge of uh, uh, forbidden, forbidden uh, wisdom, forbidden wisdom. See. Would you mind to share with us about this secret knowledge? Uh, the wisdom I'm telling is that uh, for every old uh, master or grandmaster, they have the knowledge to. To heal, to heal sick people, to drive away evil spirit, and uh, we can uh, we can uh, that is our uh, that's part of our self defense because uh, not only physically, morally, but spiritually. So so my that uh, wisdom is uh, knowledge. To, to heal sick people, that has the knowledge to drive away evil spirit. So that's why uh, that is part of my technique, Arnis technique. We are always uh, taught how to. Uh, we are always taught uh, not only for self defense, but also for spiritual value. How do you start teaching your students? Uh, the first step is, uh, of course, warm up, warm up calisthenics, and then uh, uh, tell, telling them the the the, the principle of of Arnis, and then uh, after uh, calisthenics, we go to to begin the first. Uh, uh, the first technique is to to to, uh, to teach them the what we call the X movement, X movement, or uh, what we call redonda, uh, uh, and then after that, I I proceed to the striking technique, the manner of strike, thirteen manner of strike. And then the, the, after uh, 13 manner strike, I 
told them uh, the the blocking system, how to block the attack, and then after that uh, the blocking system, and then we we go to the method method of uh, the fighting gen fighting method. So that is uh, the first the first step. How do you think why person started working with the knife? In, uh, in teaching the knife, uh, there are uh, two two kinds of uh, holding the knife. It is uh, the first is uh, uh, like uh, ice pick hold. We, uh, we have uh, what, what we call ice pick hold, and the natural hold of holding the knife. And then the, the principle of knife fighting is uh, slash. Check and trust. That is the, the main principle of of, uh, of dagger fighting. Slash, slash the wrist, and then check, the, hold the wrist, and then trust the body of the attacker. That is, that is uh, three. Slash, check, and trust. It is a, uh, it is a. Uh, it is the most important thing on how to how to hold the the knife. When the, the knife, the bono or the any harness stick, huh? any stick, they have the same holding. You uh, you hold with uh, with uh, with the handle. And then you strike with the with the with the uh, armies. You trust with you trust and strike with the bolo. You trust and strike and slash with the knife. Same. All of them are the same. The armies, the bolo, and the knife. They have the same uh, gripping because uh, because. Uh, in, fa in fighting, uh, it's uh, complete if you know how to strike with uh, a weapon, because uh, you will learn how to, to block and defend yourself against a weapon. So you have to learn how to attack also. So the first uh, step is to learn how to, to attack and then the second is how to defend to defend or parry the attack. That's why uh, that's why uh, it's important that uh, you know all those things because uh, the the attacker uh, the attacker use uh, bolo, use knife, and uh, some and we can we can defend ourselves against uh, bolo attack or knife attack with the empty hand. That is the that's, that's the ultimate step. Empty hand, empty hand fighting. We can defend ourselves against knife attack. We can defend ourselves against bolo attack. We can defend ourselves our, our, ourselves with the uh, army setup or club, club assault, club, club assault. See, wooden club assault, bolo and knife, and then. Empty hand is the last thing we are teaching. The empty hand, because we move, we go around without uh, carrying a weapon of ourselves. That's why all of those things you will be taught how to 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 confront all those uh, weaponry, except gun, of course. Is psychological preparation is important for the person before he started working with the knife? Yeah, yeah. Uh, all all those things uh, are uh, are um, taught slowly and carefully, and uh, the so that the practitioner will uh, have a good will not have a hard time learning. The, the weaponry, the knife, the bolo, or the club, the, the harness. So we 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 are we have our our own way of 
teaching uh, slowly, like uh, uh, we start with the basic, the basic principle or basic fundamental, and then after that we go to advanced, advanced technique until we master the the the, 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 the technique. The psychological effect. It is. Uh, it goes with the you know with the training. Yeah, and uh, naturally they don't have any idea about the psychology or the the uh, you know, the steps. So that, that's why they are. They, we talk, uh, We teach them. Uh, it, it teach them slowly. That's why psychology follows. Psychology follows. So we, we teach them slowly, basic first. Uh, basic, fundamental, and then the advanced technique, and advance and advance and more advanced. So until you you reach the the peak of your uh, uh, study. So psycho, psycho, psychologically is the uh, it only follows. You see, it only follows psychologically. That's why in in patient people. If, if uh, even even people coming on your way, uh, on your way, uh, people are coming. You know already their movement. If the if the movement is uh, dangerous, you are already aware, and then you can face. You know how to face them. So psychological is part of it. You can easily easily know psychologically. No, the, the movement of every people around you. See, especially when one facing you, he, you, you know already that he's going to attack you or whatever he's going to do. See, even if you are talking, you're talking with him only, but he has a bad intention, you are already that, uh, ready. Psychological, psychologically, you are ready because you are used to that already. What is the difference between system Kali and system Arnis? Arnis is only a wooden version of Kali. Wooden version of Kali. And Kali is any long-bladed weapon longer than a knife is called Kali. Such as Chris, Kampilan, Luju, Tak, and besides in Mindanao, Itak, and Tagalog, and Bolo in English. So that is Kali. Bolo, that is the that is the uh, no, that is the the main no, kali. If, uh, that's why armies we train armies to learn the blade. Huh? We train armies to learn the blade. See, that's why when we are taught how to strike, we strike like uh, slashing, like uh, doing the blade, doing the uh, doing the bolo. See. That's why, that's why it's called Arnis. Arnis is only a wooden version of Kali. But the main, the main, main, main thing is Kali. The Kali. Any long bladed weapon longer than a knife. And that is, that is where we are expert here. We are expert here in the Philippines uh, about Kali. The Bolo. That's why a lot of, a lot of uh, foreigners even Americans and Australian, European, and, uh, and so on, uh, come to the Philippines because they know, they, they found out that Kali is uh, well, well, well known here, well, well done here, and that, uh, well, the fencing, screamer in, uh, in Spanish word, screamer is like fencing. It is a Spanish name for fencing. Sword, sword fighting also European. Uh, uh, it's like uh, it's like uh, uh, our Kali here. The uh, sword fighting that is uh, our system of sword fighting. Kali, it's a bolo. Do you have in your system tactics and strategy? Could you want to share about this? The system of uh, teaching really uh, is uh, uh, first explain everything uh, to two words and then the second is the, the actual 
training, the basic. That's why uh, that is the strategy. Of, uh, and if and you keep on training, we have drills. We we do uh, the basic first, and then we have drills, drills and drills. And uh, that's why uh, we uh, we be used to it. If you are, if you are uh, uh, you practice with a drill and uh, some actual movement, and I I uh, attack and. Uh, and uh, and defend assault and defend movement, see attack and defend movement. Those are the system that we are using. We are always have the drill, not only showing how how to strike, how to block, but we have a drill on real fighting. We have a drill on real fighting, like uh, what we call strike and block and counter. If uh, we if, if you strike at me, I will block and then I will counter. And then when I counter, you block also and counter also. That's it. That is enough. That is how we we practice the drill. We yeah, we, we we block the attack and then we counter and then he block also my counter and then he counter also. That's why uh, that is the system of our we we are, we are always have a drill. Even in night fighting, also Bono, we are also teaching how to disarm. Uh, we are uh, teaching how to disarm. Disarm the attack, take the Bono, take the knife, uh, and then slash him with his own knife. knife see, that's why uh, uh, it is uh, the complete, the complete uh, learning of. Uh, of uh, Kali or uh, Armis is the empty hand, empty hand fighting. Do you have any certain criteria according to which you can understand who is the real master and who is not? You can, uh, you can identify the, uh, the beginner, the practitioner, or the master. You can identify the master because he, 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 he can, uh, he can move swiftly without breathing hardly. That's why he is a master. But he, even if uh, you attack him, he moves, he moves swiftly and uh, counter nicely and expertly. That's why you can see he is a master. While, while you beginner or the, just practitioner, you can easily uh, distinguish. Because uh, in uh, in our experience, like me, I've been teaching for six, more than sixty years. I'm teaching for more than sixty years. I started uh, at the age of sixteen. When I reached uh, twenty, I'm already a teacher. And then that uh, during that time, I I started now teaching. And up to now. My my year, I'm I'm 82, but still I'm still teaching, and then that's why they respect me. They call me uh, the highest rank in uh, in Armis, in Cali. I'm the highest rank here in Metro Manila. I they call me ESGM Grandmaster, ESG Grandmaster, meaning elder, senior. Grand Master, and they call me Nuno. They call me Nuno because the highest, the second to me is the, they call Lolo. So uh, that's why uh, in uh, uh, by the way in uh, one in about three days ago we had a congress. All of uh, Grand Masters and Masters here in the Philippines gathered because. Uh, because of the article, the the law that um, that uh, Armis became became our uh, 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 approved uh, article uh, the presidential degree nine eight fifty meaning Armis is our national sport national martial art and sport so he gathered all so we. We have so many masters and grandmasters gathered. How do you think does the knife has some future in 21st century? 
some part of our, our, our knife, uh, uh, our expedition knife, uh, are uh, one of the best. That's why even our karate expert, taekwondo expert, and uh, many experts in uh, martial arts are coming to the Philippines to learn the knife, the bolo. They, they, they are uh, trying to uh, master the bolo here, the knife here. That's why, uh, you know, Arnis now is uh, the last, the last, uh, to, uh, act on the last uh, beautiful expert in Philippines in uh, in Bolo and uh, Dagger. The the out the this, they are the last uh, martial art that the the whole world try to learn and they, they keep on coming here or sometimes they they let us go to they invite us to United States, Europe, Germany, England and then uh, Australia and some Korea even though they have Korea Taekwondo still they are inviting Korea are inviting uh, expert in uh, expert from the Philippines. Do you have the differences which knife to use? We have, we have, we have uh, so many so many techniques here in uh, knife in the knife the other uh, the other uh, uh, martial art they they don't show knife what we show we are different and not only we have so many we have so many uh, knife techniques here including the tarambit we have we call tarambit it's a hope it's more uh, tarambit and then tarandulo uh, both both uh, blade under and above. So we have, the, we have that. Uh, those are the some of our uh, uh, knife uh, uh, beauty of a knife technique. See, uh, unlike the, uh, you, you can only see that in here in the Philippines. See, the tarambit and tarambit and tarandulo, and that's why. Uh, we have so many techniques about knife here in the Philippines. And uh, I tell you, they like it. And most of the foreigners coming here like the, our uh, system of uh, knife uh, fighting. We have a technique of empty hand fighting against knife attack. Empty hand fighting against knife attack. And we have also knife to knife attack, dagger to dagger fighting. See, we have, we can, no, no, we can, yeah, we can, no, no, we can, we can disarm you. If you attack me, I can take your knife. See, I can take your knife and use it to you. See, that's why uh, we have a different, uh, we have a different way. That's why a lot of uh, people around the world are, uh, are uh, coming to, to, to learn uh, Kali. Kali, and then knife, and then empty hand, empty hand fighting, like uh, what we call, sometimes we call empty hand fighting tapi tapi, tapi tapi, we call our empty hand fighting tapi tapi. So, so all, all those, uh, all those systems are uh, derived from from the basic, if you will, uh, if you go to go back to basic, basic first. Even even the karate, even if you are an expert already, the master of karate, they will, uh, uh, they will remind you not to forget the basic, because in the basic we are learning. We start with the basic, and then go advance and advance and advance until we became expert. We became masters and also we became teacher. So we teach what we learn and uh, that I'm, I'm sure our knife fighting is different. Our knife fighting is different. We have, uh, we have props, huh? In my practicing, we have uh, uh, knife, 
there is a wooden knife and there is also a stainless stainless knife but without edge without sharp edge the only the the point is like but the edge is uh, no 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 sharp edge that's why that's for practicing and sometimes you use wooden wooden knife even the the polo we use sometimes uh, uh, we use a uh, wooden bolo. What you can recommend to the people that just want to start working with a knife? Well, uh, knife. That's why we have. Uh, that's why we have. You, you, have, you have to learn empty hand fighting. You are no, you are no need of uh, no, no need of uh, carrying knife. Because we are we are taught here how to to defend ourselves empty-handed. We can disarm. We can take your knife. That's why uh, we don't advise we don't advise uh, carrying knife. Now knife is carried mostly now by the marines. The marines, the, the soldiers, they are uh, sporting now knife. They are carrying knife. They are not only gun, but they are every every marines are carrying now knife see, for silent killing. Knife is used for silent killing. Can you share a little bit more about your system? I can I can uh, announce to the world. I can announce to the world. That my system is uh, complete because uh, there, uh, there, there is uh, what you call uh, uh, close quarter combat. You can you can deal with close close quarter combat, and then you can deal with long distance distance fighting, and also the what we call the police police or the what we call the uh, go go with the force system. No need of uh, uh, confronting with the attack. What we have to do is to to go to police it or go with the force movement. Not 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 uh, not uh, straight or to strike to strike. So we we can use the like aikido like aikido. It is go with the force movement, so we can use we are we have that uh, system also in uh, armies and that uh, in Kali and that uh, so. But the most important thing, most important thing here in learning this uh, Kali Kali army screamer is the empty hand system. We can you know, we can you know, we can face with uh, attack with a weapon. Uh, we don't have we only have empty hand. We can we can confront with all attack. See?